The black bear is a species not a color. Black bears can be blonde, black, brown or cinnamon. Their coats are bulky which can make them appear much larger than they actually are. Males average around 275 pounds while females average 175 pounds. Bears are omnivores, meaning they eat meat and vegetables. About 90% of the bear's diet is berries, fruits, plants, nuts, and grass. Their remaining diet consists of insects, fish, larvae, and scavenged carcasses. Black bears usually have a natural fear of humans. Their normal response when confronted with a human is to run away or climb a tree. Black bears have a nose 100 times more sensitive than humans. They can smell a food source up to 5 miles away. Bears are extremely smart, and have good memories. Once they locate a good food source, they will return over and over. During late summer and early fall, Bears need to consume around 20,000 calories a day to store enough fat to survive winter without food or water. Colorado has a growing population of around 17,000 to 20,000 black bears. Within the past two years the Colorado Park and Wildlife received 879 bear nuisance reports involving bears breaking into garages and homes. There's an average of one fatal black bear attack every year in North America. Usually attacks occur in rural places. Laney Malavolta, age 39, worked as a wine sales representative with the Republic National Distributing Company in Littleton, Colorado. Laney lived with her boyfriend, Justin Wrangell, at 717 Red Ridge Road in Durango, Colorado. Durango, Colorado is 20 miles north of the Colorado-New Mexico border. It has a population of approximately 20,000 citizens. Laney loved the outdoors. She was an experienced and knowledgeable operator in the back country. Her favorite pastime was being in the woods with family, friends and her dogs. Laney often walked her dogs from their home down to a trail off Highway 550, near Trimble. Spending time with her dogs in the great outdoors was her favorite pastime. On the morning of April 30th in 2021 Laney decided to take her two dogs out for a walk on her usual trail. While walking her dogs, she ran into a female black bear and her two cubs. The bear attacked Laney grabbing her by the neck. During the attack her two dogs ran off. Later in the evening when Laney's partner, Justin Rengel, returned home he found the couple's two dogs in the yard with their leashes on. He searched throughout their home but Laney was nowhere to be found. He tried calling Laney but there was no answer. He decided to go in search of his partner. He knew where she typically took the dogs walking, a trail on private land not far from their home. After searching for a little while he discovered a horrific scene, the partially eaten body of his girlfriend. He immediately called 911. Authorities found bear droppings and hair near the body. A dog search team was utilized to locate the 10-year-old bear and her two young cubs. The mother and her two cubs were located and humanely euthanized. The bear carcasses were transported to the State Wildlife Laboratory for necropsies, and DNA samples were sent to the Forensic Laboratory in Wyoming. The Colorado Parks and Wildlife Pathologist found human remains in the stomachs of the sow and one of the yearling. The sow weighed 204 pounds, and the cubs weighed 58 and 66 pounds. All three bears were healthy with no signs of abnormalities or disease. Whenever a bear is euthanized, the park gets overwhelmed with questions and comments thinking the action was unnecessary. Park officials say their responsibilities to the natural resources of the state are extensive, and their most important duty is to manage these resources in a manner that keeps visitors safe. The park says that euthanizing wildlife is never something taken lightly, but they have an obligation to prevent unavoidable harm. It's the park's policy when a bear consumes human flesh it must be euthanized. Corey Chick, 
the Colorado Park and Wildlife Regional Manager, said that the bear was probably teaching her young that humans are a source of food, not something to fear or avoid, making them a potential danger to anyone who crosses path with the animals. Chick said, we cannot determine with exact certainty how or why this attack took place, but it is important for the public not to cast blame on this woman for the unfortunate and tragic event. La Plata County Coroner Jan Smith said the cause of death was a penetrating wound to the neck and carotid artery. She ruled the manner of death an accident. Laney Malavolta's death is the fourth fatal bear attack since Colorado Parks and Wildlife started keeping a record in 1960. The attack on Laney Malavolta happened near the forested slopes, seen in the background of this image. The area is located not far from a crowded subdivision, and very active tourist spots. A recent study revealed that most bear attacks are more likely to happen in areas where the wild and urban lands meet. A celebration of life was held for Laney Malavolta on May 21 in 2021 at Riverbend Ranch in Durango. Her boyfriend said in a tribute to his girlfriend, while Laney's physical presence was suddenly taken from this earth, all that know and love her can take comfort that Laney's soul will live forever in her favorite place, doing her favorite thing. She would not have wanted it any other way. While this tragedy has shaken me and our family to the core, our burden is eased as we consider these facts. This fatal attack was carried out by a sow, however typically black bear attacks on humans are by lone males being predatory. A study carried out by Dr. Stephen Herrero, Professor Emeritus at the University of Calgary, and author of the classic bear attacks, their causes and avoidance examined 59 fatal black bear attacks on humans in Alaska, Canada and the lower 48 states during the past 110 years. Approximately 88% of the 63 deaths were caused by a bear exhibiting predatory behavior. 92% of those attacks were by a single male. The vast majority of those attacks occurred in Canada. Herrero said, our findings raise some important new insights that can be used to better understand the cause of attacks and how they can be avoided in both the front and back country. In particular, the common belief that surprising a mother bear with cubs is the most dangerous kind of black bear encounter is inaccurate, Herrero said. Instead, lone male black bears hunting people as a potential source of food are a greater cause of deadly maulings and related predatory attempts. He emphasized that humans face a very low risk from black bears. He said with millions of encounters ending with bears fleeing or never even knowing the bear was present. He said most black bears want nothing to do with humans. Given the strength and opportunistic predation by black bears one can ask why bears do not prey on people more often, Herrero said part of the answer may be that bears that try to or do prey on people are usually killed and removed from a population's gene pool, decreasing the frequency of any genes the individual might have had that could contribute to predatory attacks on people. Mark Caddy, the Northwood District Wildlife Manager for Colorado Parks and Wildlife said, you need to make sure that when you live in bear habitat you keep your head on a swivel, he said. If you're hiking in the woods, for example, it's best to make noise, so that animals know you're there. For the most part, they don't want to mess with you any more than you want to mess with them. He said it's best to keep dogs on a leash while hiking to lessen the potential for unwanted wildlife interactions. Between 2015 and 2021 the Colorado Parks and Wildlife has euthanized 775 bears, and relocated 402. The best way to minimize a bear attack, and prevent a bear from being euthanized or relocated is to keep food sources secured, scare the bear away, and never hike alone. If you encounter a black bear, do not run. If you run, the bear will likely chase you. Make yourself look as big as possible. Wave your hands over your head. If you are wearing a jacket pull your jacket up over your head to look bigger. Speak in a firm voice and tell the bear to go away. Slowly back away but never turn your back to the bear. If you are attacked by a black bear, fight back. Do not play dead. 
If you play dead with a black bear it won't end well. When a black bear attacks it almost always means they see you as prey, and plan to consume you. So fighting back is the only way to survive. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more from Wild Animal Network.